So I have this stack on gun safe that I could not get into. I couldn't remember the combination. I had uh, completely forgotten it. <laughs> I kind of remember the numbers somewhat, but I couldn't remember what order, and my mind was just getting flustered trying to figure it out. So I got online and looked at videos on these stack on safes on how to dial the combo, which you gotta spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. Stop on the number, go to the left till it clicks, stop on the next number, go to the right, and stop on the last number, and the safe should open. Of course, I could remember that. But at the same time, I was um, watching videos on how to reset the combination, how these things worked, on and on and on, and knowing that, of course, Stack On is not the highest quality as far as this model, and... Um, I found some videos on this particular one on how to reset the combination and saw that the mechanisms for this guy are literally just behind just to this side of it because all the bolts come in from this side and then as you turn the handle it releases the bolts so what I ended up doing was taking a drill And a pretty good sized drill bit. I think it was probably a 3 8 inch drill bit. But a pretty good sized drill bit. And I have one of these bore cameras. That you can buy online for pretty cheap. Probably less than $20 on Amazon. And it's a nice long camera with an LED light. Very important to have that light. And what I did is I drilled a hole. And I drilled it right there so that based on the videos I watched I knew I should have cleared the bar the locking bar that engages the bolts and I would be able to see the mechanisms now not all safes are built like these these ones uh, the stack ons actually don't have uh, any kind of cover over the mechanism they're just in the clear they're open so uh, what I did then is inserted the camera um, into this hole <clears throat> and I kind of used the back of the door to kind of push it, I kind of angled it down a little bit and then pushed against it so that it bent inside and then maneuvered it around until I could see the mechanism. From there there's uh, three long slots and, and numerous little short slots. And as long as you line your camera up just right and you can see the bar, so that when you're clicking this thing, you can see that bar go up against that mechanism, then as you get put the bar all the way against it, and then turn it, just turn it to the right a whole bunch, and then turn it really slow and, and, and go around one more time, because it doesn't matter how many times you go to the right the first time, and figure out where that slot, that long slot is on the inside ring so the inside ring is the one that has to engage first so figure out where that long slot is you spin that thing all the way around and you know, as you're spinning it around, until you get to that long slot now I'm not gonna get crazy because the nice thing is doing this is uh, it doesn't ruin the safe I mean it's got a hole in it but you can either plug that or put some JB weld on it or whatever you gotta do but it doesn't ruin the safe so Spin that thing around until you find that long slot and then go really slow and you'll see it line up. You'll see that outside edge of it line up with the bar. And then leave it there. And then start turning to the left and go really slow. And you'll see the outside ring, the one furthest from the door or from the outside of the door, will be spinning and then it will engage the middle ring. And, the, and then the inside one will stay put. So you engage the middle ring and then go really slow because now it's now you're looking for that next slot. And it will come by, you'll be able to see it a lot easier. It'll come by and you'll want to just line it up with the first slot, also in right in front of the bolt, the, bolt, the, the bar. Then as soon as you have that, you go back to the right, very slowly, very carefully, and you'll see that last slot come into view. When that happens, then um, stop, and you should be able to engage the bar. Once you engage the bar, then the door opens, and voila, you're into your safe, which this boneheaded fool completely forgot the combination on. So, 
Um, don't know if this is allowed to be posted or not, but I'm going to give it a shot and uh, just share that information. So just a 3 8 inch hole is all it took to get this guy open.